Hello everyone and welcome to this video. So in this video, we are going to see SSRF based attacks and to start with, we are going to see SSRF attacks against the server itself. So as we already know, using SSRF, we can scan any third party based web application through the vulnerable server. Now, let us see how can you utilize SSRF to scan the server itself and how you can exfiltrate sensitive data or information from the server. So many times the admin functionality is only accessible to the authenticated users of the target program or the web application. So when any attacker impersonates and makes a request through the local machine, he gets access to the admin functionality. What does this actually means? This actually means that the attacker is going to fool the application and make the application think like the request is coming from the organization itself and the application will allow the admin functionality to all its local users. To understand this, we are going to see a simple animation and get the principle. So onto the left hand side, you can see there is an attacker who is going to send a request to the vulnerable web application onto your right hand side. And the request is going to be, let's say get slash admin, the host is example.com as it is our vulnerable application example.com. And let's suppose there is a parameter URL equals to into the body, which says again example.com, which is the name of the web application. The server is going to send a response to the attacker and the response is going to be 403 because the attacker is not allowed to see the admin functionality of the vulnerable web application, which is example.com. But if the attacker sends a, again a get request to slash admin with the same host example.com, but this time in the URL, he impersonates himself as the request is coming from the local host. As you can see, this is a loopback IP. The server quickly responds with 200 OK, thinking that the request is coming from the internal of the organization and gives the admin dashboard or the functionality. So what is the impact of this? The attacker is able to access the internal portal or any admin portal which he or she is not allowed to. So SSRF gives you the functionalities which are hidden from the public world and you can access it inside the organization. Attacker is also able to bypass the access controls and authentications to access the protected resources that we have already seen. Attacker can also perform sensitive actions onto the targeted web applications like deleting account or modifying some data, which we are going to see in the practical in just a couple of few seconds. Also, the attacker is able to execute commands to scan the internal ports and also the network to identify if any vulnerable services are being running and further exploit them. So what are the steps to perform this SSRF onto a target web application? So I have listed down four steps to solve this practical or to perform this attack. The first one is, we will exploit our web application to induce request to the backend server by bypassing the access control. So basically what we are going to do is we are going to send request to the local host or through the loopback IP address to the web application and trick the web application in thinking like the request is coming from the internal organization. Then we are going to perform some sensitive actions as unauthenticated users which the application is believing us to be an authenticated user. Hence, our attack will be successful. So it is the practical time and let's quickly jump on to the practical to understand how can we do this SSRF attack. So as you can see over here, I'm onto the Portswigger Web Security Academy lab, which is basic SSRF against local server. So we are going to solve this lab based on the information that we have learned till now. Okay, 
So the question is to solve the lab, change the stock check URL to access the admin interface at localhost slash admin and delete the user car loss. So we have this task to be performed. So from this information, we understand this, that there is a web application which gives us some stock information about the target and we need to delete a user by being an admin user. So first of all, we are going to configure burp suit quickly with our web application as you can see and I'm going to intercept a request. So we are going to perform the attack from our burp suit. Now let me just increase the display size, so the font, so you could see it more better. Perfect. Now over here you can see I have got the request in my repeater tab and you can see it is working perfectly fine. So now it is the time to get the request of the stock. So let's come on to this page and at the bottom you can see check stock. So I'm going to just click on that and I'm going to capture the request in burp suit on which we are going to perform the SSRF based attacks. So as you can see, I have captured the request over here and now I'm going to send this to repeater. As you can see now this request is into repeater and you can see we have got that there are 121 units in stock in London. All right, let's get back to burp and hit send. And you can see we are getting a response of the stock now let's go back to the question and see we are able to see the stock check feature yes we are absolutely able to replicate that now to solve the lab change the stock check url to access the admin interface at localhost slash admin perfect so now we are going to send a request to localhost so for that we will simply type http colon slash slash localhost and hit send and Let's see if it is able to communicate to localhost or no. And in this we are able to see the output. Perfect. And you can see we are also able to see the admin panel as well, which we were not able to see previously. Now remember, if I put any other URL over here, it is going to behave in a different manner. So let's say I put something which does not exist. Let's say localhost does not exist.com. Then it is going to throw an error into the response, which means it is not able to successfully load the resource that we are trying it to fetch. Perfect. So let's click on render and let's see if you are able to render this. And you can see I have got a successful admin panel functionality, which was not present before, as you can see over here to confirm. Perfect. So we are into the right direction that we are able to get the admin functionality because the web application now thinks that the request is coming from the internal organization or the local host. Now, the second part of the question is we need to delete the user, which is Carlos. All right. So let's see if we have any information about Carlos. No, because we are not still onto the slash admin URL. So now you can see if I hit this endpoint, we are going to get some information and you can see delete Carlos and delete Vineyard as you can see over here. Perfect. So we have got more sensitive information from the targeted application in which when we hit the admin dashboard, we get the list of all the users from the application. The first user is admin Carlos and Vineyard. Perfect. Now we want to delete one of the user. So what we can do it, we can delete it from our burp suit as well, as well as we can delete it from our browser as well. Let me just copy paste this over here. And here you can see, I can just simply hit on delete and it says admin interface only available if logged in as admin or if requested from loopback. Okay. So it basically means that your request should be coming from admin portal only. All right. So let's hit the request from burp suit to delete the user. So let me just copy this and paste it over here. So this basically means that we want to delete a user, which is Carlos and you can see 302 found perfect. So we have successfully solved the lab. So what are the key takeaways from this? The first is that 
we took a vulnerable endpoint that was stock and we ended up entering the local host to see if it successfully loads. If you put something which does not exist.com, then it is going to throw an error through which we can confirm that it is interacting with the target that we are giving. In this case, we wanted to interact it with its own server. That's why we have given the local host. Also have given the ports. For example, local host colon 22 to do a port scan as well. But that was not required in this case. So later on, we identified when we give local host, we are able to get an admin functionality and then we are able to see three users when we hit the endpoint, which is localhost slash admin. Then we deleted one of the user and we successfully solved the lab in which we are able to perform an admin feature or admin action, which was an authenticated user. So I hope you guys understood how to perform this and how you can do this attack. Thank you.